Hello viewers, in today's class we are going to solve yet another important and conceptual problem from three dimensional geometry, right? So here we have to find the distance of a point uh, 1, 2, 3 uh, from the plane x plus uh, y plus z equal to 2 and measured parallel to the line x plus 1 over minus 1 is equal to y over minus 2 equal to z minus 3 over 1 right so now here uh, we are given uh, three things right uh, the first one is uh, we are given a point right and the point may be denoted by the letter say p and the coordinates are 1 comma 2 comma 3 and the second uh, thing is uh, we are given the equation of a plane let us denote the plane by pi and uh, the equation is x plus y plus z is equal to 2 right so this is the uh, plane and the third uh, thing is uh, uh, we are given a line right and the equation of uh, the line is given as x plus 1 over minus 1 is equal to y over minus 2 is equal to z minus 3 over 1 right and we have to find the distance of this point p uh, let us take here the plane pi and let us take uh, the point p here and the coordinates are 1 comma 2 comma 3 and we have to find this distance right this is uh, say point m where this uh, line pm intersects this plane pi and uh, this uh, distance uh, uh, pm is to be measured along the line uh, l right whose equation is given here right so what we will do uh, here we will see that uh, this line l is parallel to pm right where pm is the distance of this point p uh, from this plane pi and uh, pm is given as uh, uh, parallel to uh, the given line l because here we are given measured uh, parallel to the line uh, x plus 1 over minus 1 is equal to y over minus 2 equal to z minus 3 over 1 right so now in order to find out this distance pm what we have to do uh, we need to find out the coordinates of this point m right now let us take uh, the coordinates of this point M as uh, alpha, beta and gamma, right? So once uh, we uh, obtain the values of alpha, beta and gamma, uh, we can find out the distance PM by making use of uh, the distance formula, right? Okay, so now uh, let us proceed to find out the uh, coordinates of this point M. So for this what we will do? I uh, will find out the equation of pm right and remember l is parallel to pm now equation of pm uh, can be written as x minus x1 over a y minus y1 over b is equal to z minus z1 over c where x1 y1 z1 are the points through which uh, this line uh, that is pm passes through so here x1 y1 z1 can be taken as 1 2 and 3 and a b c are the direction ratios of this line pm right but here uh, we are given that this line l is parallel to pm right and we know that uh, whenever two vectors are uh, parallel uh, then their direction ratios are proportional or equal right so a b c can be taken as uh, the direction ratios of this line l that is uh, uh, minus 1 minus 2 and 1 and x1 y1 z1 is uh, uh, it can be taken as uh, 1 comma 2 comma 3 right so now the equation of pm can be written as x minus 1 over minus 1 then y minus 2 over minus 2 and z minus 3 over 1 
right so this is the uh, equation of uh, this line pn right okay now uh, we have to find out uh, the coordinates of this point m and this point m lies on this line pn as well as on the line uh, on the plane pi right so now what we will do here we'll take a scalar lambda and this scalar lambda uh, is taken uh, in order to find out the coordinates of the general point on this uh, line pm right so what we will do we'll write x minus x1 uh, x minus 1 over minus 1 is equal to lambda then we can take y minus 2 over minus 2 is equal to lambda and z minus 3 over 1 is equal to lambda right and if we now solve these three equations in x y and z uh, we have x is equal to minus lambda plus 1 y is minus 2 lambda plus 2 and z is lambda uh, plus 3 right so x y z are the general coordinates on this uh, line pm for some scalar lambda right so what we will do we can take this point m as this point right so now we can take alpha as minus lambda plus 1 beta as minus 2 lambda plus 2 and gamma as lambda plus 3 right so now the coordinates of this point m can be taken as minus lambda plus 1 minus 2 lambda plus 2 and lambda plus 3 right so now we see that this point m lies on this plane pi that is on this uh, uh, plane pi and uh, the equation is x plus y plus z minus 2 is equal to 0 so this point m must satisfy the equation of the plane right so here we'll take x is equal to uh, minus lambda plus 1 then y is minus 2 lambda plus 2 and then z is lambda plus 3 minus 2 is equal to 0 now this is a linear equation in lambda we can solve it easily so we have minus lambda plus 1 minus 2 lambda plus 2 plus lambda plus 3 uh, minus 2 is equal to 0 here lambda and minus lambda get cancelled so minus uh, 2 lambda and here 2 plus 1 3 plus 3 6 6 minus 2 is 4 right so 2 lambda is equal to 4 and lambda is equal to 2 right so now uh, we have obtained the value of uh, uh, the scalar lambda is equal to 2 so now the coordinates of this point m uh, can be uh, written as uh, here we can take lambda is equal to 2 so we have minus 2 plus 1 then we have minus 2 times 2 plus 2 and then we have 2 plus 3 right so now uh, we can solve it so this is uh, minus 1 this is minus 4 plus 2 that is minus 2 and this is 3 plus 2 uh, 5 right so the coordinates of this point are minus 1 minus 2 and 5 right so now we can easily find out the uh, distance uh, pm by making use of the distance formula so now the distance formula uh, can be written as pm square can be written as x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square plus z2 minus z1 square right and here x1 y1 z1 is 1 comma 2 comma 3 and x2 comma y2 comma z2 can be taken as minus 1 comma minus 2 comma 5 right so now we have uh, minus 1 and minus 1 square plus we have minus 2 and minus 2 square and here we have uh, 5 minus 3 square right so this is minus 2 square this is minus 4 square 
and this is 2 square and this is 4 and uh, this is 16 and this is 4 and uh, the sum of these three numbers is 24 so therefore pm is equal to square root of 24 which can also be written as 2 times square root of 6 so the uh, distance of this point P from this plane is uh, 2 times square root of 6 units, right? So viewers, this is how uh, we solve this important problem.